everyone, Scott Collier, West Ham Fan TV, returning with a big match preview. Today I'm previewing the Huddersfield Town versus West Ham United game. Three o'clock kickoff on Saturday. Another big six pointer. We need to carry in the momentum in the league. You know, good four points picked up against West Brom and Spurs. Terrible, terrible performance against Shrewsbury, but we didn't get beat. But as I said, the performance, especially of some of the players, the first team players, was absolutely shocking. In my opinion, the three youngsters that started that game were the best three players in our side. You know, so some of our first teamers have got to take a look at themselves and decide whether they actually want to be at the club and if they don't, to get lost. Um, as I said, this is going to be a tough fixture. They're going to be looking for revenge after the 2 0 defeat we gave them at the London Stadium. Um, you know, it's going to, be, going to be tricky. As I said, it is a six pointer. When we look at the stats, Last two games against Huddersfield, we were unbeaten in them. We've got two losses in our last nine fixtures, you know, which is really, really good going. They've only had two wins in their last seven as well. And um, one of those wins was a 2-1 victory in the FA Cup on Saturday or Sunday against Bolton. You know, so they are in not a great run of form. Um, so, you know, they've not scored in their last two league games as well. So, as I said, this has got to be a game where we go there, we get amongst them, and we put them under pressure, which, you know, has been quite difficult for us. You know, when we've come up against sides who who we can't sit back and soak the pressure up, like with the big boys, you know, we sit and try and catch them on the counter. We saw against Newcastle, we tried to do that, uh, tried to go at them a bit more, had to create stuff, and we got caught out. Same as in the Bournemouth game. You know, we need to be very, very careful. You know, Huddersfield are going to be hard to break down. I think if we get a goal up early, I don't think they'll be able to break us down because we are defensively quite strong when we want to be. So I don't think um, if we can go up, a goal up, I'm very, very confident we'll go on to get a result. If we go a goal down, as I said, Huddersfield, they're not in the greatest run of form, but they are very, very difficult to break down. So, you know... That first goal is going to be key in this fixture for me. You know, whoever gets it, I do think will go on to win the game. Um, as I said, Huddersfield, they have failed to score in their last two league games. So, you know, that is a good stat for us going into this one. Especially as, you know, we have conceded a few with the Newcastle and uh, Bournemouth fixture. But, you know, we have been scoring. You know, two goals against Newcastle, three against Bournemouth, two against West Brom. And uh, the wonder strike against Spurs. So we, you know, we are still ticking over nicely in the goals forefront. It's just having to re-tighten up at the back again. Um, Injury-wise, few players missing for Huddersfield. Uh, Stankovic is definitely out. They've got uh, doubts over Craney, Low, and I think it's Quin Quinner, Quinner. You know, my pronunciation of some of these names. Not very good. But they've got doubts over them. Obviously, with us, we're missing Byron Font and Fernandez. All long-term injuries. Um, a lot of players were rested. I don't think so much they were injured. But there is slight doubts over Noble, Antonio, Collins, Sacco, Creswell, Anatovic and Oxford. Um, I just think, with, I think Arnie especially was rested. Um, you know, so, and so, same as a few of the others. You know, they, that Shrewsbury game was a game that we should have took a bit more seriously and should have performed better. But I understand with resting some of the players, especially Zabaleta, you know, he's played nearly every minute of every game. So the guy did need a rest. But we showed against Arsenal, you know, in the cup, where we did rest players and didn't go out there with a the right minute telling he, it bit us in the arse against Newcastle. So we need to make sure that we go into this game with Huddersfield and just hit them at full throttle. You know, go into it as if that Shrewsbury game didn't happen. You know, let's be honest, it can be all right for memories. It was that bad. Um, I expect Huddersfield to line up a 4 2 3 1 formation. Um, I said, very, very tricky game. So we'll have to wait and see how this one pans out. Right, on to this week's question, uh, which I will, uh, if you guys could comment, and I'll read out your comments in uh, the starting 11 show. Josh Cullen was one of the youngsters that started against Shrewsbury. Probably one of the better players in our midfield. For me, he was one of the only ones who tried to get the ball down and play. With the poor form of players like Obiang and uh, Kyote, or Kyate, um, do you think he deserves a start? You know, do, do you think with 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 the way Rice, Declan Rice has come through and been performing quite well, you know, should we have a gamble on Josh Cullen? You know, if, if especially if Noble's not fit. 
you know, is it is it worth him giving him a try? Let me know what you guys think, and uh, also give me your score predictions, what you reckon it'd be, and I'll read a few of them out in the Predicted Eleven show. So uh, thanks very much for joining me uh, for this big match preview. As I said, I will be back tomorrow with a starting eleven show. Um, and then, you know, obviously don't forget to check out all the other stuff, post-match pint uh, for Shrewsbury, all the fan cams. We will be doing fan cams after the Huddersfield game, so make sure you check, uh, look for the guys uh, if you're going up there. There will be a post-match pint. Not too sure if it's going to be filmed Saturday night or Sunday morning, but um, keep an eye out for that one. And one thing left to say, come on your hands. <laughs>